Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In today's video, I will show how we can send mail from our API in Node.js using NodeMailer. So you can see here, this is my postman and this is my URL of my API and this is the request body. In the request body, I have specified the receiver's email and my subject and the message. Now when I click on this send button, you can see here it is sending the request and in the response I have got success as true and also the timestamp in which the gmail has been sent. Now let me just go to the mail and you can see here I have received the mail. This is my sender's email which is specified in the code and this is my subject and the message. So let me quickly show you how to achieve this. I will go to VS Code. This is my Node.js application and here I have done nothing. So first what I will do, I will open the terminal and let's install one package name as node mailer. So I will run here npm i node mailer. You have to run this command to install the node mailer. Once this is done, let me just close it. Let's create the API name as send mail. Its method will be post. In this, I will receive three things from UI, which is receiver, subject and message from request.body. So I will just write here const receiver equals to request.body. Here I will add the validation that if receiver is not present or subject is not present or message is not present, then I will just return here the response and the response status will be 400 that is error and the message will be all fields are required. Okay, after this I will come here and let's create a variable name as transporter and here I will write node mailer and let's just import the node mailer. So I will just write here import node mailer from node mailer and then here I will come and I will write here dot create transport so this is creating the medium to send the email and here we are going to send the mail through gmail so I will specify service as gmail after this we have to write here auth which is our sender's email and password okay so this will be the gmail account which will handle the sending of the mail okay so here I will write user and my user will be I will pass here my email here we have to pass our password so I will just write here pass and here we don't have to pass our regular password we have to generate a new password for that what I will do I will go to chrome here we have to click on this icon and then we have to go to manage your google account then you can go to data and privacy or anywhere just we want the search button so you can see a search button is here and we have to search for app password click on the first option here enter your password to verify yourself here we have to give our app name so I can give it anything so I will write here node mailer then click on this create button and you can see this is your new password so you can just copy this and this will be only used for this type of applications so I will just go here and instead of pass I can paste it and just remove all the white spaces and this part is done after that I will come here and I will create a new variable which will be our mail options and in this I will assign four things which will be from so from will be the sender's email for now I will give it the same so copy this paste it here then two two will be our receiver so I can just copy paste this variable that is the email coming from my request or front end then my subject this will also be the same so I can just write here subject equal to subject and at last message so here I can just write text and text will be my message okay fine just one more thing if you guys are on my channel for the first time then I recommend you guys to check out the playlist in which this video will be added like I have created the whole login system in react node and mysql and after this node mailer thing I will create the whole reset password functionality like user can reset the password and the reset password link will be shared to the registered email id and then from there user can reset the password so I am going to cover that big topic in my next video so if you are interested then make sure to check out the whole playlist after that we have to come here and let's write try and catch block in the try block we have to create one variable name as info and we can just write here await transporter which is this variable which we have created dot send mail and here we have to share our mail options so I will just write here make sure to add await here because it will take time now if this process is successful I will just return yes response dot status 200 and the message success true and info dot response otherwise I can send here error and its status will be 500 and its message will be fail to send the email ok fine I will save this now let's go to the postman and now here I will just change the subject as 4 times 2 and then click on the send button 
and you can see I have got success as true. Let's go to the mail and here you can see I have received the mail as new subject. Thank you for watching the video.